First, this is what the grooves of a record look like when heavily magnified. In this case, we're looking at a stereo audio recording, where the edge of the groove closest to the center of the record is the left audio channel, and the outer edge is the right. If we flip these grooves to the side and view them as they would be played, you'll see that looks just like a waveform, because that's exactly what it is. The needle, which is technically referred to as a stylus, is tipped with a hard material like a diamond or my mixtape, and for our purposes is either elliptical or spherical in shape. An elliptical stylus will have more contact area and sit deeper in the groove, which offers better frequency and phase response, but may jump out more easily on a dirty record and produce more cue burn if you're scratching with it. Spherical or conical styli are shaped as the name would suggest and sit higher in the groove, sacrificing some stereo separation and fidelity for an improved tracking response with potentially decreased wear, all at a lower cost of production. That stylus is attached to one end of the cantilever, and for most DJ carts, the other end of that cantilever has a magnet attached. When the stylus is mounted on the cart, the magnet end is surrounded by small coils, creating a tiny magnetic field. The cantilever is suspended by a little bitty bushing, which helps the stylus maintain contact as it moves through the groove. As the stylus bangs along the recorded sound wave, the opposite end of the cantilever moves around in here too, and these tiny changes in the magnetic field induce a small electric current, which then exits the cartridge at the rear posts to the head shell, the tone arm, mixer, speakers, party people dancing. This process of converting one form of energy to another is called transduction, and that's the entire job of every phono cartridge, to take that physical kinetic energy created from the vibration to the stylus moving through the groove and convert it into an electrical signal. Congratulations, you're a scientist now.